Hey everybody, Shane here from GiveMeAct.com. Here we are today starting Nine Monkeys of Shaolin, and we're going to be using a little trick in order to get through the game super duper quickly. We are going to need a USB keyboard for this, so make sure you plug one in to your console. Make sure you start up a new game on single player. We're going to set the difficulty to the highest one, which is going to be Legend, so we can go for that achievement. You can skip any cutscene by holding the B button on your controller, and then once you actually get into the game after this loading screen, Make sure you get past the character dialogue, and then once you are in control of your character, you want to pick up your USB keyboard and then press the N key. That should automatically clear the level, and since we beat the level without taking any damage, we should be good for the untouchable achievement for 20 gamer score. Beating the prologue is also going to give us the achievement for that for another 50 gamer score. So, already making a good start on the game. We're going to be introduced to the temple, which is going to serve as our HUD right here. And then basically our first trip here, we're going to need to head down and then talk to the blacksmith. He is going to forge us our first weapon, so make sure you get through that. So, just make sure you pick up the oak pole. And then once you have that, we're going to head on over here. We're going to loop around and then talk to this guy. He's going to be the one who's going to be the first one on the right from the main door. Once you load in to this tutorial level, you can hit N to skip this as well. Whenever you clear a mission, you're going to head back to the HUD. Make sure you get through any dialogue. And then once you are back in control at the HUD, you are usually going to talk to this person who's going to be the first one on the left. This is going to be the main mission giver of the game. Pretty much for the entirety of the game, you're going to talk to him in order to accept the next mission, and then the front door is going to open. Make sure you step on through, and then once you start the actual mission, you could skip it by hitting the N key on the keyboard, and then what's usually going to happen after that is you're going to get some dialogue. Make sure you skip through any and all dialogue, and then we're going to head back to the HUD. This is going to be a basic tour of the HUD. The guy on the right is going to be in charge of upgrades, so you can go to him if you want to upgrade your character. Not like it's going to matter, as we're going to be skipping through every single level anyway. Anyways, you're going to have the blacksmith in the back who's going to upgrade your weapons for you. You should unlock every single weapon along the way since they are all story based. But the person you want to primarily focus on is going to be the guy on the left who is going to give us all of our missions. So pretty much the basic gameplay loop from here until the end of the game is making sure you go to the guy on the left, make sure you start the next mission, go through the door, once it loads in, hit the end key on the keyboard to skip it, and then once we get back to the temple, we're just going to rinse and repeat until we finish up the current chapter that we are on. Of course, there are going to be cutscenes and dialogue along the way, so make sure you get through those, but it's not going to be anything that requires any work. Once it clear the first chapter, you should be good for the Blood on the Leaves achievement for a 30 gamer score. Chapter 2 is going to open with a cutscene, feel free to skip it. Once you're back at the temple, feel free to talk to the guy on the right who is going to give you another bit of tutorial. Again, you could skip these with the N key as well. Once we are back, we are going to have this character who is going to be the second one on the left. Pretty much this character is just going to allow you to replay any missions that you have previously beat. So if for whatever reason you want to go back to any previous mission, feel free to talk to that character. However, that being said, we're just going to stick to talking to the character who's going to be the first on the left to continue the story. So just make sure you keep beating missions and keep getting through chapter two as quick as you can. Chapter two is probably going to be the most mission dense chapter, so try your best to get through this slog. So here we are on the last mission for chapter two. We're going to accept it and then we're going to be in this watery cave. Then we're going to skip past this and then be good for our next achievement right here for 30 gamer score. And that's going to segue us into chapter three. Feel free to skip the opening cutscene and then make sure you get into the HUD. Then we're going to need to talk to the guy on the right to get some more tutorial bits. Again, you can skip these with the N key as well. Then we're going to get back to the HUD and then get back to our normal gameplay loop of talking to the guy on the left, accepting whatever mission he's going to feed us and then getting back into the game. And then of course using the N key to skip whatever level we have to play through normally. Then we're going to be back to the HUD and then the rest of chapter three is going to pull no punches thankfully, just accept every single mission along the way and then just keep skipping them using that N key on your USB keyboard. Super duper easy and then you should be able to blam through most of the game super fast like this. So we're going to have a handful of missions right here. We're just going to accept them one at a time. Do keep in mind you are going to have to beat every single mission in the game in order to get an achievement for that. So make sure you don't skip anything. So just make sure you click on each and every Every one of the flags on the map and then you should accept them one by one and then clear them up easy peasy
So here we are on the last mission of this chapter. We're going to accept it and then skip it. And then once we get to the end of this one at this castle looking area, we're going to be good for another achievement, Hidden Mountain, for another 30 gamer score, which is going to bring us in to chapter four. Chapter four is going to mix things up a bit. We're going to have our HUD be moved to the boat right here as the characters have packed up shop for the main story. So pretty much the same thing. Just make sure you talk to the map guy who's going to be on the right this time. Accept the mission and instead of going through a door, you're just going to teleport straight there after you accept it. Just make sure you beat all the chapter four missions. There aren't going to be a ton of them, thankfully. So just get through this as quickly as you can. You can feel free to talk to the weapons guy or the upgrade guy if you want. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to be focused on trying to get through this as quick as possible. And then once we finish up chapter four, we should be good for the paper and steel achievement for another 30 gamer score. On to the last chapter, which is going to be chapter five. We're going to head back to the temple. Everything is going to be all burnt out now, but same gameplay loop. Talk to the guy on the left, accept whatever the next mission is, and then just get through this chapter as quick as you can. This is going to the last chapter, and it is going to go by really quickly since there aren't going to be a ton of missions. So just make sure you keep skipping. And then once we get towards the end, we should be good for wrapping up the main story. Once you beat the second to last mission, so the pen ultimate mission right here with the cannon, you should be good for the achievement for unlocking every single weapon in the game called Armorer. And that's going to be for 30 gamer score. Then we're going to start the last mission. So one last time, talk to the guy and then accept the last mission. This last mission is going to be a two-parter. So make sure you hit the end key to skip the first part. And then you're going to load in to the second part. Again, hit the end key. And that should wrap up the game. Once we start the last cutscene, you should unlock your slew of achievements right here. You should get the achievement for beating the game on hardcore. That's going to be Shaolin Legend for 130 gamer score. You're also going to get the achievement for beating every single mission in the game that's going to be protector of the celestial empire for 40 gamer score the difficulty achievements are going to stack so you should be good for the shaolin warrior achievement for beating it on normal for 100 gamer score then you should get snow and ashes for 30 gamer score that's for beating the last boss and then finally you should be good for the r hat achievement which is to beat the game without dying since we skipped through all of the levels anyways so that's going to be how to get through the game super duper fast using a usb keyboard all in all, you are going to be looking at about 12 achievements for 580 gamer score in about 10 to 15 minutes or so. So there's the trick. Hope you enjoyed the guide. And that's all there is to it.